Few months ago, we discussed Brian Shaw's interest in arm wrestling and a potential debut for him. After some time, Brian said that he's going to be focusing on MMA full time. So we already guessed that the arm wrestling gig is off for Brian Shaw, and rightfully so because that turned out to be the case. Few days ago, in his recent Q and A video, Brian once again confirmed this fact in a very indirect, kind of a politically correct manner. He was asked about his arm wrestling debut, and he didn't really answer that question. He basically said that he's excited about having collaborations with Derek Smith and Devon Lerett. himself so it's clear that he doesn't even have time to collab with devon or maybe devon doesn't have enough time so where is he going to get time for training because he has been promising these collaborations for months now maybe almost a year so this arm wrestling thing is just not happening and it's kind of sad to see that for these famous athletes arm wrestling may still be nothing more than a retirement age old age home as long as they have anything productive and interesting or money making to do they are not looking towards arm wrestling and it may be our fault as well because arm wrestling is already beyond those days when we need to kind of cherish and over welcome everyone whenever they mention the word arm wrestling so even after brian shaw's and eddie hall's fights being cancelled he still isn't thinking about arm wrestling so arm wrestling and brian shaw and eddie hall is a big no Hermes Gasparini has a plan for Alijan Muratov. Hermes said that his left is 20% weaker than his right, especially in the gym, especially in the back pressure training. But that also is going to be more than enough to defeat Alijan Muratov. That's a very powerful statement. Maybe Hermes is just playing mind games with Alijan because he also mentioned that he will let Alijan try with the right arm right before their left-handed super match at East versus West 12. If Alijan can somewhat stop Hermes Gasparini's right even slightly then maybe he can beat him on the left. If Alijan cannot do that then Hermes will destroy him even on the left as well. And uh, if you if I have a little bit difficult maybe maybe you have chance to win to my left. Maybe. So that sounds like a fair statement but my question is Hermes can do that after his left arm match as well. Maybe he wants to intimidate Alijan by showing his inhuman power on the right arm by bullying him on the table. So many of us must remember this young boy David. He was 17 years old when he pulled with Devon Lett in a tournament and he did really well. I also kind of did a commentary over it and that is the most popular shot on this channel. Well, he's 18 years old now and he recently practiced with Larry Wheels. and surprisingly or maybe not so surprisingly larry was handling him pretty good on both left and right on the right arm larry didn't want to go in his hook par so he easily top rolled him once in a hook david was able to get the job done but after that larry even surprised him in a hook as well with his speed left arm he got one legit pin over larry with pure side pressure torzella style just like he was arm wrestling against devon after that it was all larry maybe he got gassed out after just one pull he still quite good he is still really strong there were many questions about orden lerets current level of strength where does he stand after the match with armsling whisperer he practiced with him on the left arm as well and the story was almost the same he was letting whisperer take an advantageous grip and still ripping through him then he practiced with reno masich and the result on the left arm was quite obvious i think even on the right arm reno despite being few months younger than orden can still handle him equally easily on the right as well but something interesting orden practiced with risto delijakov who was the referee at king of the table so risto allowed him to play easy in the beginning but then when he went for the pin his wrist got cracked so it's quite clear he wasn't trying 100% in the beginning but orden was also tired because he had a long match with whisper it was easy but when you play with your opponent for so long you must be tired a little bit And in 2022 Risto was number 4 behind monsters like Nurdolat Adher Khan, Daniel Prokopchuk and Yanis Amolins. So he is legit and seeing Orden crack his wrist kind of tells us about his level. And speaking of Reno Masich, Reno said after his victory against Orden, "I was quite nervous coming into this match. I really couldn't imagine a scenario in my head where I am winning." Now that's brute honesty from the young guy. 
not many people like to mention that they thought they were going to lose this match. Devon Lerett also revealed that after he defeated Hermes Gasparini, that he also considered him as a huge underdog. So Reno said Bacho's hand was intimidating, it was really big, but he relied on it way too much. Once it was taken away, he couldn't do much. And he also got nervous, intimidated and kind of almost scared before the match for whatever reason. Many people are saying that Bacho's height got exposed. I think the opposite. I think he did absolutely amazing. He does not have as much super match experience or international experience in super matches as Reno Masic and that kind of showed there. He is already almost close to Reno, maybe even slightly a percent or half stronger than him in the hook at least and he's going to get there for sure. So recently in the Arm Olymp video, we saw Denis Siplenkov was a little bit sick few days ago. Now this is nothing serious, everyone comes back 100% from a little cough and cold, not a big deal. But when the match is about a couple of months away or maybe even less than that, then you cannot really afford to miss 2-3 days from training, which this cold is good enough to do to any athlete. But Dennis seems motivated, he seems strong, once again they emphasized on the fact that they're not going to show the practice pulls now just to not help their opponents to get the notes, get the weaknesses of Denis Siplenkov. But interestingly, since they mentioned that fact, they have been showing Denis Siplenkov's footages only where he's been kind of struggling with everyone. So that kind of defeats the purpose in my opinion. Meanwhile, Levan Saginashvili is training like an absolute maniac. He's already repping out 65-66 kilos in the back pressure exercise and in the partial bicep curls on a preacher bench, he's already up to almost 100 kilos. And I saw an interesting post on Reddit, a different angle of the Hermes vs Levan match and just see how massive Levan Saginashvili is compared to a 130 kilos Hermes Gasparini. As of now, I'm going to say that for the 10th time probably, the Georgian Hulk still looks way too strong for Devon. But if there is anyone, maybe except Hermes Gasparini, who can stop Levan, it has to be Devon Lerit. Thanks for watching, like the video and subscribe.